Welcome back everyone to the hello world guy and I'm finally back on YouTube after a very long time and in this video we are going to continue with the Mario series that we had going and if you remember we were supposed to you know implement the uh, collision of Mario with the map tiles in this video so while the time I was off YouTube I have actually implemented that already so I'm going to basically show you a line by line overview of the code so to start I'm going to go under my map.h file actually first let's go to the Mario.h h file in here you can see we have added a new boolean here called is grounded which is going to help us uh, determine whether we want to jump or not because we only want mario to jump if mario is standing on something so now let's go to mario.cpp uh, in here you can see that uh, if i go to the update method now we are not you know uh, just like directly updating the position whenever uh, a key is pressed but instead we have got a float here called velocity and if you are pressing the left key we are setting the velocity to negative speed multiplied by delta time and uh, otherwise we are setting it to positive and uh, that uh, the reason we are doing this is because um, uh, we might want to you know not actually use this velocity later so in here we are also you know updating our vertical velocity to add gravity and delta time and we are uh, handling the jumping as well for jumping we have added the condition of is grounded here so that we only jump if our player is grounded now that's all pretty awesome but here is the real part uh, where we are checking for collision so in the map.h file we have created a function which is uh, a, a boolean which means it returns a boolean value called check collision we are supposed to give it an x and a y and then also a width and a height of the collision box and it will check the collision with the map we will go into the details of the implementation of this function later first let's go here so uh, first we check for uh, we need to check the x and y axis separately so first we check if the map dot check collision and then we uh, give the uh, we've got a you know our mario is represented by a rectangle so we give it the rec dot left which gives the x position and we add the velocity to that because we want to determine whether adding the velocity will push mario into a wall and if it is so we do not want to move mario so this is um, by the way this is discrete collision checking right now not uh, continuous but it should work for a simple game like this so if i go here you can also see that we have got rect or top here but we are not adding the vertical velocity to it because this is only for horizontal and then we of course pass it the width and height of the rect and then uh, in here we are setting the velocity is equal to zero if the collision is so if we are colliding with anything we stop the movement so if the if moving will co uh, cause us to collide with something we will not allow mario to move and that's awesome so now let's go to this you can see we are having map dot check collision mm, here as well but this is a difference because we are not adding anything to rec dot left because we don't want anything to change and we have not added left is just like uh, it was in the previous frame right now we have not added anything we are only changing the velocities and in here we actually check uh, what will happen if uh, we add the vertical velocity to the top and remember that the vertical velocity is actually I'm supposed to be multiplied with delta time because we are multiplying it twice by delta time here since it's gravity and gravity is represented by meter per second squared so we need to multiply it by delta time twice instead of just one time so in here we also need because since we are when we add to the top we are multiplying it by delta time when we are trying to do it here we will have to m uh, multiply it by delta time here as well so uh, we are passing the width and height just normally and if that is the case we not only set the vertical velocity to zero we do that of course but we also set is grounded to true and if this is not the case which means uh, we did not detect a vertical collision we set is grounded to false so that we can actually not jump now and that is all we need to do and in the end all we do is we add the actual velocities to the position of mario and that is pretty much it so if I go under my map.cp file to check the actual implementation of this check collision function and since our Mario is not on tile based map so Mario can have any size and any position while uh, that map is limited to tile Mario is not. So here we have got a simple algorithm to check that out. So we could essentially create four integers here. One is column start which means and basically the start of the column that's pretty obvious and we the way we do that is by take the x and we divide that by the cell size and the reason we do that is because we want to find out the cell in which mario is starting so uh, you know the 
uh, where the where Mario is located. We want to get which cell is the cell in which Mario is starting. And since Mario is uh, ha can have any size, he might be you know uh, spanning multiple cells. So that's the reason we need to do it this way. We have got a start where we divide it by this and of course convert it to an integer. And then we have got a tile column and in which we add the width to it to find out when Mario ends and then we uh, divide that by cell size. But in this case we also need to add once because we want to check you know the tile in front of Mario as well so that uh, or else it won't actually you know cover the whole Mario if we don't add one. So we do that and uh, by the way if you don't want to add one you can also just remove one and check less than or equal here in the loop uh, instead that would also work. Uh, but uh, regardless let's go to row start and this is pretty much the same but instead of x we are using y. Now that's pretty obvious so now let's go down to the uh, loop here where we are having basically a nested loop. First we loop over the col columns you can of course loop over the rows first or whatever you like the order doesn't matter. Uh, but here when we are looping over each of the columns so we are going like this each column and then each in each column we are uh, uh, going through the uh, each of the rows so that we can check every cell that Mario is covering and if uh, any one of those cells is uh, being collided then we just say uh, uh, we check this by you know we have got our map here as uh, a variable called grid if you remember so basically like uh, uh, an std column column vector so uh, basically a vector of columns so we check if uh, our, uh, this cell that we have got right now if uh, this cell is uh, uh, you know mm, covered with something so this is not an empty cell so if that this cell is not empty then we return true because uh, that means that we have detected collision if we detect collision with any cell that means mario is colliding so we just return true and if that is not the case then in the end we return false because uh, if this loop uh, all of the loop ra uh, ran and we didn't detect any collision that means there is no collision so we can just return false in the end so yeah this is pretty much all of the code that we need and if i run the actual game now you can see that uh, mario falls down and uh, uh, you know when we fall on the ground we can only jump when we are on the ground and we can uh, not like go through this and you can only do this like uh, uh, on the ground you can't jump in the air uh, and the reason this uh, works is because of our collision functionality and collision works perfectly no matter uh, where Mario is you can see that uh, the collision is not causing any problems because it is not a grid based solution Mario can have any position as long as the map is a grid based one so uh, yeah this works and uh, we have got the collision pretty much implemented and this is pretty much it for this video. So let me know what you want to implement in the next video. I am thinking about animation maybe or maybe uh, because right now we are basically creating a dummy map. So we want to have an actual map and of course we also want to like uh, uh, have a uh, camera that follows Mario around. So if you want to see the uh, implementation of like reading a map from let's say a picture file or something. So if you want to see that then let me know in the comments and uh, if you want to see animation also let me know in the comments and if you got some other idea that you would like uh, to have implemented in this game then uh, make sure to let me know. So yeah we'll do that in the next video so for this video this is pretty much it and make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye.